Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Angry Cast. Here's a hot tip for you if you really, 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 really want to play your Steam Fallout Shelter saves on your phone or on Bluestack so that you can take advantage of the new content without having to start over or use an old, outdated vault, here's how you can do it. First thing you're going to need to do is to connect your phone, your whatever mobile device you use for playing um, any games, which has an account on it for, uh, I guess for Android, for the Play Store, to your PC. Now I have a Pixel 6, so it's an Android, you can use that. Next thing we got to do is to tell your phone to allow uh, file transfer on it. So however you get prompted when you hook up your phone, mine says, you know, tap for more options. It, it may say charging device, tap for more options. And I can't show you this because it's on a phone. But um, this, you use USB for file transfer Android Auto. That will allow it to be showing up underneath your, uh, this PC on your computer. So now that we're in this PC, we can see there's my phone, Pixel 6, and it shows internal shared storage. We click on that, go to Android, go to data, then look in the list and you'll see com.bethsoft.falloutshelter. Click on that, then you go to files, and then once you get into files, and here you can see the entire pathway I need, you need to find, but all the way at the bottom you'll see my vault saves. Okay, if you have something there because you've been playing, you may want to copy those to a different place. You can you can drag them, copy drag them over to another place on your computer just to keep as a backup because you can put them back later if you, in, in case you screw up. But once you do that and you're ready to move things, then you need to go get to wherever you keep your Steam saves for Fallout Shelter, which is going to be under C, Users, whatever your username is. The easiest way to go th to do is go to the Start menu and then type in percent sign app data a p p d a t a percent sign and that will open up the roaming and then you can back up and see the app data and go local and then fallout shelter is the next thing um, that's where the fallout shelter saves you can see i have all my fallout shelter saves and the one we've been playing on is vault zero which is vault three dot save let's make a copy of those so that nothing happens to them in case we decide to go back and forth and we forget now granted this is a one-way trip if we take things from here, you cannot bring them back over after you've been playing on your phone or Bluestacks. They're stuck here because there's a different version. The Fallout Shelter that's on your phone is going to be at least 1.15. I think it's up to 0.1 now, so 1.15.1, whereas Steam uh, is now 1.13.13. It will crash the game. You cannot use it when you bring that back, so it can only be a one-way direction. So if you want to take advantage of the new stuff, you have to play it either on your phone or Bluestacks. You can't bring it back over to Steam after you've done those quests. That being said, let's go over. Now, we have, we can copy these two files. That's the Vault Zero that we were using. Put them into a backup folder. And then once we're ready, drag them over to this location where we were just at. To where our, our new stuff's at. Drag them over and drop them in. Now we'll have, let's see, here we'll go. I have a backup here somewhere. This is where I want to move to mobile. Uh, but we're going to drag, pretend this is my Fallout Shelter local save for Steam. I'm going to drag these over. Actually, I'm going to copy them, so because if I drag them, I, well, no, it should go over. Okay, it, it, it should make a copy. Yeah, because it's a different drive. So now I have my two fault saves right there. Okay, we're ready to go. Okay, here is where it's going to get tricky, and I need you to pay attention to what I'm saying because I can't exactly show you this. Once you have moved those files from your PC to the folder on your phone, go into your phone or the mobile device you're using and open up Fallout Shelter. It's going to look kind of like what's on the screen here, but don't worry. Once you've opened up Fallout Shelter, go into the vault list and then see where the vault that we're going to be working with is vault 3 on your phone. Click the box for cloud. And it should either tell you, if you have an existing save, it should tell you which one do you want to keep, the local save or whatever's already on there, which is in the cloud. We want to have the local save, which is what we've just put onto the phone. 
Once we do that, once you do that, it should show up. So in our case, it's vault zero. We're going to click on it and then we're going to load that vault. Okay. Now, if you can't see it, but I'm opening up Fallout Shelter on my phone to see that vault that we've been playing for months on our PC. Okay, now that we have done that and opened up and it has brought in that new vault from our PC onto our phone, we can then close out Fallout. Uh, we, can, we can save the vault there and get out of our phone and now come back over to BlueStacks, which again, if you haven't installed BlueStacks, I have the link in the description. It's easy to install. Everything's saved at the cloud though with BlueStacks X. It's not saved to your local PC. That's why we have to use the phone in order to do this. Typically with BlueStacks, you could go and find a location on your computer that has your saves, but BlueStacks X eliminates the need to keep things saved locally and goes just with your account in the cloud. So that's why we're uh, doing it with the phone in place instead of going directly from one folder to the other. I hope that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I know it probably doesn't. But okay, let's up, now we're back into BlueStacks where we have been playing the new stuff on our old, old, old vault. But now we're going to bring in our recent vault from PC by going in, opening up the saves, and it says new vault because there's nothing there. We click cloud and it should prompt me to say, which one do you want to keep? Up oh, and then because there was nothing there, it automatically loads the one. So as you can see, 109 dwellers, 43 rooms. This is the last save we were playing on when we were doing the quests last week for the Halloween episodes. Let's go ahead and load that vault. And there's no sound right now because I didn't want to have any distractions in the background. But here we go. Okay. There it is. Uh, are we there? Did we make it? This is our vault. Everything looks to be the same. Oh yeah, there's our Halloween outfit for our diner. We've got spelunking training. We've got eight. We had eight uh, lunch boxes. Yeah, it looks like it is. And wait a second. Wait a second. Did we do the... We did him? Oh my gosh. We did a lot of quests. Yeah, the Gridiron Gang. There's the Gridiron Gang. And there's the Halloween episodes. And look. Look here. Searching in the dark. The new quests are there. That's awesome. We did it. We've imported our original vault into Bluestacks to be able to use to do all of the quests on mobile through blue stacks all of our dwellers are still training we still have 109 let's go check our uh, let's see here where is our yep they're what are they working on what are they working on they're working on mark six power armor let's pull somebody out here real quick in fact let's just do that let's pull somebody into over here let's see Crafting all the weapons. Are all the new ones here? Oh yeah, Harden Ripper, Lone One, uh, the Gr Grognox Axe. Oh, they're all here. Everything's there. That is how you do it. That is how you pull your original PC uh, Steam saves for Fallout Shelter, put them into BlueStacks using your phone connected to your PC. Uh, please, if you like what you see, buy me a coffee buy some merch. Keep on watching. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.